this video I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup using as little products as possible so if you want to know how I do it then keep on watching so today I just wanted to do a really simple get ready with me I've been experimenting with some different face powders and I wanted to find the right face powder for my skin type so I can suffer with oily skin on my t-zone so I find my nose my forehead and my chin can get quite oily and I have a spot coming up on my forehead already <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys the three face powders and I have to say there was one face powder that I am really happy that I got and I wanted to share it with you and I wanted to show you it's really good okay so going with number three natural collections face powder now I really love this one it comes in different shades so you can find the one closest to your skin tone and this is in the shade natural so I actually got away with wearing this face powder on a bike ride through the rain. It stayed on my face really well. The only thing I did notice with the Natural Collection face powder is that if you do not have very moisturised skin, then it can enhance that fact. So if your skin is a little bit dry and you put a load of this face powder on, I applied mine with a brush. So I just kind of put the brush in and then apply it to my face. And I had quite a little bit, quite a little bit, I had quite a few flaky bits of skin on my face and you could only kind of see that if you looked up close. I used this also using the CBD oil as primer to my face and I found that helped a lot. So just using a primer, so like a serum oil, or even just putting a little bit of coconut oil on your face before, or vitamin E, or something like that, it really, really helps. So this one is number three. So I managed to get these extra sensitive baby wipes from Audi, and I've never seen the extra sensitive types of wipes before. It says this one, <laughs> as mild as cotton wool and water. So I've been using this on my face to remove my makeup, and I have to say, I feel like it's so mild that it doesn't remove the makeup very well. So I've actually been using just a normal, sensitive <laughs> wet wipes for the babies. I always use wet wipes to remove my makeup. I just find it's just easier, it's quicker, and you don't have to fluff about with like cotton pads and toner and cleanser and stuff. Okay, so number two. Two. I would definitely say that the collection face powder, this one, is a really good one. Now I've got this in the shade number one, which is called Barely There. It does have a touch of colour to it. And I find when it's applied over foundation, it gives the skin a really nice coverage. And then you're ready to apply your mascara and lipstick. But now I want to share with you my number one face powder that I absolutely love. And I cannot believe finally getting around to trying this brand of makeup. And I am surprised. So my number one face powder has to be the Mineral Powder by Gosh. After trying this face powder, it ends up retailing at $9.99, so it is quite expensive. So considering this Natural Collections face powder retails at like $2.99, and then the Collection face powder retails at like $1.99, $2.99, it's not a lot. So I was a bit surprised to see that I paid $9.99 for this one, but it is the best and it is my favorite one so far. So I'm gonna put it on my face and I'm gonna show you why I like it. It just has coverage, it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and flaky and you don't even have to use a primer to get like the best results. And then when you do use a primer, you get amazing results, you get a matte finish, you get an even finish. And yeah, it's a lot to boast about, but I've never experienced a face powder that can give me coverage in my skin and kind of remove those dark areas under my eyes and at the same time give me that fresh, fresh look on my face. So let me show you what all the fuss is about and let's try this mineral powder. Mineral makeup is the way to go. Okay, so now I've got a clean face. The only thing I just want to cover is this spot on my forehead. It is literally in the middle of my forehead. So I'm just gonna cover that up with a little bit of concealer. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the face powder. So I already have a little bit of powder in the lid of the product. So I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to put it 
into the powder. Now with this powder, you do not need a lot of powder, okay? A little bit goes a long, long way. So just take the excess, I'm gonna put it into the lid. Now, miracles do happen. Literally, put it on your face and rub it in. Miracles happen. So I'm gonna do one side of my face so you can compare the difference. Whoa. Look at this side of my face. It is crazy, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at this side and then look at this side. Oh. Whoa, crazy. I mean, look how blotchy this is. And look how clean and fresh this side is. It's amazing. I cannot believe it. It's incredible. I love this face powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish off my face and apply it all over so we don't just have one side done. I find using circular motions help spread the powder a lot easier. So just kind of wipe it all over your face. Don't forget your forehead, nose and eyes. Don't forget the sides of your nose as well. Look at that. It's like photo ready already. This face powder is amazing and you definitely get what you pay for. I used to live off natural collection makeup and collection makeup when I was younger because it was cheap and easy to get hold of. It really does make a difference if you put in a little bit more and you get a lot more out of the product that you're, you're looking for. So I was looking into all these different products and I was trying to see which would be the best for my skin type, so a combination skin. Mineral makeup seemed to be the way forward. I am really happy to say everything that I've showed you in this video, so the gouache makeup, the collection, and the natural collection makeup is all vegan and cruelty free. That's another thing that I'm really happy about. So I've got the results that I want and I'm still being true to myself in a way. <laughs> So I know the lighting is a little bit bright at the moment. So I'm gonna put the tiniest little bit of bronzer on my cheeks just to show you guys. I'm literally just going to apply a little bit onto my cheeks with a big brush like this. The forehead just blends it in together, doesn't it? Okay, and you can always blend the bronzer. And there we go. This makeup is amazing. <laughs> this makeup is amazing. So I'm just going to do my mascara and then put a little bit of lipstick on and we're pretty much done for getting ready. Really easy, really simple. I didn't want to put a lot of makeup on today. Every day I seem to be putting less and less makeup on my face, which is always good. Okay, first I'm just gonna curl these eyelashes. So what I always do, to my eyes is I always put a white eyeshadow on my eyelids just to brighten up my eyes even more so I'm going to do that I'm going to put the white eyeshadow on kind of focusing on the corners of my eyes just brings out the darkness it's almost as if I've put foundation on my face like you can see my skin is so like smooth it's really weird <laughs> so I have the bronze and glow palette from makeup revolution and I'm just going to put the highlighter on my cupid's bow now it's time for lipstick so i think i'm just going to put on a nude lipstick i've been loving nudes lately it's just so much easier so i have this beautiful shade of lipstick from nyx and it's in the shade flutter kiss so i'm going to put this on i just love how smooth and matte the finish is it's just everything i've been looking for in a face powder it's brightening as well as mattifying <laughs> 
and there we go yeah that's that's pretty much it it's now gotten down to a really good quality face powder you know a little bit of concealer just on the spot and then mascara lipstick and some white eyeshadow like it's literally it it's literally it and i've been loving it and it's so simple and it's just there's little products that i'm using and yeah so i really do hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up go subscribe for more and i will see you lovelies very soon bye guys